All right, everybody, we're going to continue with our dividing multi-digit uh, numbers to dividing those multi-digit numbers, including the decimals. So before we get started, the best thing to do is do a quick estimate to make sure that when we are finished with our division that we are um, in the right ballpark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my divisor. Uh, we've got a plane travels 3,625 and 26 hundredths miles in 6.9 hours. What is the plane's unit rate? So I know I'm going to be dividing. So I'm going to divide by 6.9. So if I'm estimating, I know that's very close to 7. So what I want to do is I want to take this number and I want to have a multiple of 7 that's really close to 36 with the other whole numbers just being 0. So I know that 35 is a multiple of 7. So I'm going to say my answer is going to be about 3,500 divided by 7. So my estimate for my estimating my quotient is 3,500 divided by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5, and I have two zeros that I need to tack back on. So my answer is going to be approximately 500 miles per hour. So what we learned in class today is we would take those divi that division statement and re rewrite it as fractional division. So I'm going to take my dividend, 3,625 and 26 hundredths. And instead of the division sign, I'm going to make a fraction bar, which represents division, and put my divisor, 6.9, underneath it. There's my fractional division expression. So the next part says, express that divisor as a whole number. Well, right now my divisor is 6 and 9 tenths. We talked about different ways to change that into a whole number by multiplying by powers of 10. So I can see here, to change 6.9 into a whole number, I can multiply it by a power of 10. So I'm going to have 69 now, by moving that over. And to make it equivalent, whatever I do to the bottom part of the fraction, I'm going to do to the top. Notice this one isn't a whole number. We're going to still have a decimal in the dividend. But we'll see how that still is going to work anyway. So in order to complete this, we're going to actually go through the actual division algorithm to find the quotient. So my problem is 36252.6 that we're dividing by 69. So what I like to do is I do my little powers, or I do like 69, I want to do my estimation. Instead of doing all the different multiples of that, I want to get in the ballpark and I know my multiples of 70. So I'm going to start just writing down some multiples of 70 that will help me get into the ballpark when I'm actually doing my division. And I can add to it later, but I can just take a look at what I've got right now. So if I'm dividing by 69, and I, I know that I can't get any sets in 3 or 36, but I can get a certain amount into 362. So when I look over here, and I can see that 5 sets of 70 was 30, 350, I bet that's going to be pretty close for my 69. So I'm going to try 5 sets of that. So we're going to go ahead and work out the problem here. 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 4 is 345. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract that 345. 2 minus 5, I can't do it, so I need to borrow. 12 minus 5 is 7. 5 minus 4 is 1. So my remainder is 17, which is smaller than my divisor of 69. So I'm doing okay. I can bring down my next digit, which is a 5. So now I'm looking at how many sets of 69 I can get out of 175. So again, I'm going to look up here and look at my sets of 70 that's going to help me get in the ballpark. And I can see if I had two sets, it's 140. That's going to be really close. Three sets was too high. So I'm going to try two sets 
actually do the multiplication of 69 sets of 2. I have 18, 138. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to subtract 138 from 175. I'm going to have to borrow. So 15 minus 8 is 7, 6 minus 3 is 3. So 37 is still less than 69, so I'm doing good. I can bring down my next number, and I'm at 372. So again, I'm going through the division process of finding out how many sets I can get. I'm going to look back up here, and I know that when I divided it by um, divided by 5, I, excuse me, I got 345, so that's pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and give that one a shot again. So five sets was 345. So subtracting, 12 minus 5 is 7, 6 minus 4 is 2. 27 is less than 69, so I'm on the right track. I can bring down the next digit. However, I have to make sure I get that decimal all lined up as well to keep my places of value all set. And I'm also looking right now, my answer is 525. I know I'm not done yet, but my estimated quotient was 500 miles per hour. So I'm already getting some positive feedback that I'm on the right track. So bringing down that 6, I now have to try to figure out how many sets of 69 I can get out of 276. So when I look here, I have my one set of 70, two sets, three sets, four sets was 280. Now remember that's four sets of 70. 276 is just four less than that. 69 is one less than 70, so it looks like I should be all set with four. So when I do 69 times four, 9 times 4 is 36, carry the 3, 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 3 is 276. So I have nothing left over. I've got my final answer all set, 525.4 miles per hour is the plane's unit rate, and it matches my estimate. So those are the steps to go through to divide when you have a decimal in your divisor.